Well, good morning. Welcome to Wake Up in the Word. Thank you for joining me this morning. Got the big cup today. This one came courtesy of North American Mission Board as we attended a conference about replanting and revitalizing the church. Can you tell they think we'll need a little extra if we're going to get that done? So God bless you for joining us today. I wanted to just touch base from Psalms 119, beginning in verse 145. It is the section called Kaf wondered how that's pronounced, Kof, uh, Q-O-P-H, yeah, Kof is the Hebrew letter of the alphabet. Uh, we finished up the previous section with the statement that, Lord, your statutes are forever right, forever. They don't change with the fads, they don't change with the seasons, they are forever right. Listen to how he covers that once again in this stanza. I call with all my heart, answer me, O Lord, and I will obey your decrees. Now, how, how long will you obey those decrees? Will there be something to change that? Or will I forever obey those decrees? Will I, in the season of life, decide, well, no, these decrees are no longer representative of the way I would like to live, and they're no longer fashionable, therefore I will change them. No, no. Verse 146, I call out to you, save me, and I will keep your statutes. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I have put my word in, uh, my hope in your word. Now look at this. This is an early morning prayer. Verse 147 saying, I rise before dawn every day. I get up early. And what's the first thing I do? He said, I talk to you, Lord. I cry for help. I put my hope in your word. My eyes stay open through the watches of the night that I may meditate on your promises. Now you wake up in the middle of the night sometimes. I mean, some of you have that blessing of sleeping like a rock, maybe for seven or eight hours. I don't know about you, but I don't. <laughs> now I'll sleep soundly for a period of time, but do you wake up during the watches of the night? Is there a noise or there's thunder or something else that wakes you up? Or maybe like in our house, there's a cat crawling on you, <laughs> but you know, something may wake you up. What do you do to get back to sleep? Do you count sheep or do you say, well, Lord, thank you for waking me up. What would you like to say in the middle of the night? And as you begin to meditate on the precepts of God, not only will you find it'll give you peace and let you get back to sleep, but quite often the Lord will speak to you about things that perhaps in the noise of the day you weren't ready to listen to and he'll give you insights into his word, and he'll give you guidance for your life. So, hey, he says, my eyes as they're open during the watches of the night, I meditate on your promises. So verse 149 then follows that up by saying, hear my voice in accordance with your love. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your laws. Those who devise wicked schemes are near, but they are far from your law. Yet you are near, O Lord, and all your commands are true. Now look at the contrast here. The wicked, they're far from you and far from your law. They don't pay attention to anything you say. But Lord, you are near and all your commands are true. You know, for everyone who is walking in the word and trusting the Lord, you can be sure that God is, he's not in shouting distance. He's not over the next hill or in the next room. He is with you. That's the presence of the Holy Spirit. So finally, last verse of this stanza says, long ago I learned from your statutes that you established them to last forever. That's the centrality of the word of God to our life. It'll last forever. It will stand when other things fall. And here we have a second stanza in a row where he ends up the stanza talking about the eternal nature of the word of God. Listen, friends, don't let fads chase the word of God out of your life. Don't let whatever the, the new thing in society is push you away from the truths of God's word. When those things are long gone and when the people who have pushed those agendas are long gone, the word of God will continue to stand. And we'll look at it every single day right here as we wake up in the word. Thanks for joining me. If you like what we're doing, how about like us and or subscribe so that we can keep on doing wake up in the word every single day. God bless you.